Welcome to Board Game Archaeologist. We play time-worn games from the past. I'm Hunter. I'm Rob. And today we're looking at Candyland. Candyland. Originally made in 1948. This is a 98 version. I've seen many versions and I think I have one back in the room but it's kind of buried so I left it there. This is for ages three to six making it super easy for us to figure out right away and it's for two to four players. The goal of the game is to be the first person to get to King Candy at the Candy Castle. Yep, and it comes with the board, and the board has changed over many, many years, and then it comes with your four colored characters. I want to say they were like that in the original, but that could just be an old mind playing tricks on me. It also comes with a nice large stack of cards, because unlike almost every game we've ever played, except for Sori, where there's either a spinner or dice, this one comes with you play by cards. And to start off the game, you'll pick a character of whatever of whatever color you want. Youngest goes first. Youngest goes first, according to the rules. <laughs> and the person will just pick up a card. And if it's a single block color, you simply move to the first instance of that color. Then if you pick the second card, I got a double block. That means not only do I going to get to the first purple, I get to jump to the second purple. And there are only two shortcuts because this game is very similar to Shoots and Ladders in that you are trying to get to the end of this trail. And the two shortcuts, one of them is right here. If either one of us got an orange to begin with, would have taken you immediately ahead. Right. Or you got one here too. Doesn't give you a whole lot of extra play, but that one gives you a lot of play. The other thing you have are special cards and there's special areas on the deck or on the uh, board where Queen Frostbite is and... Grandma Nut, spelt with one or two T's, depending. Yeah, depending on the rules. And you got Jolly and Mr. Mint and stuff. So these will send you right to the place. And I think it's kind of funny, and this could go later, but um, the gumdrop on the board, I don't think really looks like this gumdrop. <laughs> you kind of got to pull them all out, also with the lollipop. But this one will allow you to jump all the way to that special card. The cool thing about that is, is you can end up on Queen Frostbite way up here, so you've only got a short way to go instantly if you, she was uh, close to the top. Another bad thing about them is, though, if you draw one and you're here, you might have to go all the way back to Jolly if you draw the Jolly card at that point. And really, it, it's that simple. You take turns just picking up the cards. And sometimes games can last moments, because as you said, you can get to... Uh, uh, queen, queen, frostbite. Oh, frostine. 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 Oh, frostine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was reading upside down. You can get to Queen Frostine and just end the game in a minute. But also, you know, rounds can take like a while, especially if you have people going back. Right. It's and and really, there's only like six special cards. So out of this whole deck, there's only six cards that can really hurt you. But there's also three danger zones. Uh, one of them is the gooey gumdrops, where you have to stay there until you draw another yellow card. You also have the stuck in the molasses swamp, which you have to pick a red card. So if I draw and I don't get a red card, I have to wait another turn. So this could really haunt you because there's a lot of cards and a lot of colors. So that could really hold you back. And there's also one more there, a lost in the lollipop blitz. And... This is definitely, this is a game that I played a lot when I was younger. And I remember, it, you know, it, it's a very simple game, very easy to play. But it's, when I was a kid, I thought that this game was a lot of fun. And it, it's it's definitely something that I don't pre appreciate as much now as an adult. But, you know, if you have kids and stuff, something like this is actually, like, from experience, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, and you're working with colors. You don't even have to know numbers or letters or anything. All you have to do is hope not be totally colorblind. And I got friends that are colorblind, so they might see this as gray. But if you know, it really works pretty easy because of the colors and the simple rules. And the, the rules are mainly written on the board. And that's one of my, I'm going to say a little con because it's not there's not a lot of cons to Candyland. It is what it is, and it's a fun game. Um, when they have the instructions on the board, and this is just kind of a picky thing, but it says stay here until uh red card is drawn. To me, that means if Hunter drew a red card, I would get to go next time. But if you check out the instructions, it verifies that you have to pick the red card, making I could be there five minutes the way I was just drawing. I drew five cards without getting a red card. 
it could be a long wait. And it kind of goes into the whole, sometimes rules are overwritten. And for something that writes so much, uh, it's funny that it's vague about something like that. Right. Um, but that is that is the closest thing that I can get to a comic the game. Because for the right. most part, it's just, it's colorful. It's got a lot of good vibes in it. And, and it's super easy. Yeah, it's super easy. as Because I didn't even think about that immediately. Like the idea of giving, especially maybe like, you know, uh, kids who you can't trust with dice. <laughs> it's like, this is a great alternative. It is. Yeah, it's It's fun all the way around. It doesn't take that long, or it could take a long time. Anybody can play it. And you can also make it a drinking game if you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you want to know more about us, check us out at toyarchaeology.com. You can also find us on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.